up guys welcome back today we are following up our last video on flat field by understanding today the distance node so on our last video we used the flat field uh, node in order to create tools that would allow us to shape our cells into rocks and create masks and height variation or even create uh, cracks now we seen how to do that but we didn't see the beginning of this uh, graph where we actually create the cells node. If we inside Substance Designer, we are gonna see that we have different kinds of cells node, but the cells node 4 is the one that is most similar to the one that we are going to be creating right now. We're gonna use the distance node. So the distance node, what it does is has two inputs, one is for mask and the other is the source input. And the funny thing of it is that it takes the pixel yes, that has a value of 0.5 upwards yes, and it expands them outwards in with a fade. So having this map yes, in tile sampler where I have different circles with different grayscale uh, values, if I start to increase the maximum distance you will see that they start growing. Now, take a look to this. We have this big circle that is going, that is decreasing and increasing its size. But these two small circles are not doing it, and that's because their value is below 0.5. If I try, let's see if I can do it to make them. Yes, you see, to make them less, uh, more, little more than 0.5 they will start to change their shape again. So, what's another feature of this node? Well, when they start to grow, yes, outwards, they are gonna start to collide with other cells. When this happens, the cells will stop growing. They will no overlap one with each other. Well, they will just stay there. And another fact, uh, fun fact about this node is that every single circle I created in here that has its uh, own uh, grayscale value maintains its uh, grayscale value while increasing its shape so I can def definitely choose the value of, of each of these ones if you want to have a better example we can see it here yes where in this gradient we have the lower part and the top part but the lower part is the one who is growing so no further to do, we're gonna follow up with the tutorial. And in this one, in order to make the rocks, yes, that I'm gonna show you where they are first, but these ones. Let me lower the scale, increase the selection factor, and use a plane. So these are the rocks that I created for today. And let me show you how I did it basically. So first I got I grab a tile sampler. It has a pattern that in this case are Gaussian, but actually it should be disk. That's my bad. So we have like a disk uh, pattern and I made them really really small. Yes, I made their size really really small. So there's no kind of issue when created the distance map. So Let's say I start increasing the scale of this disk and you will start to see that we, they will start to blend in a way that they will start to create uh, weird shapes like we have here, here or around here. And you can see them in the 3D view where they have this circle path here. So I'm gonna keep on increasing and you will see they will start to take the shape of the actual disk. And we don't want that. We want it to to be kept small so they can uh, have the shape of the rock we want so as in the last video I passed this uh, cell snow through an edge detect which will go through the process of flat fill in order to clear the rocks now the thing here was quite something that we had in the last video that rocks they actually didn't look a lot like rocks yes they they have this like weird edge like really really af far from the ground and 
they have this like pinching on top so what I did to fix this into this was blur everything and then lower the values into creating a gradient that goes towards the ground now I also created as we saw in the last video a mask yes to see how much of these rocks I want so I start with this In order to make the small pebbles, the only thing I did was I copied the whole system that I, I, I mentioned before, yes, till here, and I l increased their size in X and Y amount. That way we have these small pebbles we see around here, yes, these ones, and I blend them with a height blend. Now, before having the uh, before having the result as we see in screen this was seen like this before we had rocks on top of our rocks we have small pieces coming out from them and in order to avoid that what I did was I grabbed the result of our my, of my latest bigger rocks and put them throughout the history scan with a position on one and I subtract this information yes the big rocks to the information of the small pebbles and voila we have the blend of our rocks now remember this is more of a procedural way of doing things, yes, uh, despite you might have control over it, it's not gonna be an exact control of it. I mean we can still keep on changing shapes and so on and, and warp things, I mean I could definitely come here and warp the distance uh, map by a cloud too. with a blur of course here in order to make the edge of our rocks more like a wiggle as you can see there so you can see the result before and after oh, they changed place nice so before and after we have this like straight edges but if I add the warp they do start to change the more I warp it the better the, the, the stronger the result is gonna be of course so before ending this video I wanted to also show you something I already upload to LinkedIn in that it's another way of showing you how this can be useful in our daily daily day of working with Substance Designer for example if you actually want to make like some kind of a slate a path or, or let's say rock path uh, on your material you can basically do all this process and after you have this kind of very well shaped forms you can bevel them and just by the simple fact of beveling them you're gonna have like this kind of compressed rock that will give it like the feel of like more of a ground than just loose rocks like someone actually placed them there not that they are just scattered by nature that way and in order to give it more variation and feel more natural and to create more breakups well we can do everything we mentioned in the last video plus adding more things like dirt leaves and so on